can you believe this i did this particular design in powerpoint you can see here i have just created a kind of a ac knob where i have just put three priorities which is low medium and high and always my priority is high and uh, i did some small uh, animation effect using the transition called the morph so how it looks let me just show you so if you see here the same design i have just put my priority to the low level and when i click it changes to the medium and again when i click it changes to the high so you can use this particular slide in many of your presentations to show the importance of the the project or the importance of a product or the services so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then i'm going to insert an oval shape for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape click on anywhere it will create one a small oval shape with the height of one point so i'm just going to increase this to 3.45 and this also 3.45 and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click on the oval shape go to format shape under fill i'm going to select the color which is a light blue color and then go to effects and under 3d rotation select which is this one which is isometric right up so it turns something like this then go to 3d format and depth you can just increase to three points and here let's see whether the lighting i'm going to select this one flat which is a special and the material i'm going to select this one dark edge so i've got this particular shape already now now i'm going to add one more oval shape so instead of adding new go to insert i'm just going to select this only and press ctrl d to duplicate and then go to format i'm just going to reduce the size to size to 2.9 and this also 2.9 and the color i'm just going to select a different color which is a blue this one and then go to effects and here under 3d rotation let it be the same don't do any changes then go to 3d format and i'm going to increase the depth if i just increase you can see here it started increasing maybe i'll use maybe 55 and then i'll come to the material and lighting lighting i'm just going to select this one bright room you got this and then material let me just select the first mat so i got this shape and i'm just going to place it exactly on top of the the first one so you can see here now i would like to add some more uh, shape on top of this particular oval shape again i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it Control D so I got this one now I'm going to change the shape to change the shape go to format edit shape change shape I'm going to select which is this one hollow circle you can see here this particular shape has been created and I can just reduce the width so it comes to this much and color let it be the same and I'm going to effects and reduce the depth so i'm just reducing the depth maybe 10 or 12 will be okay i believe i think 12 is enough and this lightning i'm just going to select this one this is balance and the material let it be this one and coming to the color I can just select any gray color something like this here you can see here I can just select any color 
and I'm just going to place exactly on top of this one and if you want you can just reduce the width also again and again put it exactly on top of this I would like to change the background of this one so I'll just going to select some dark color maybe it's okay and this particular shape let me just uh, do I, I can see here some black shadows which I don't like that so again let me just go to effects and the lightning let me just select the first three point I think this is this looks good and maybe let me just select the warm mate yeah so you got this kind of a uh, whitish shade there now I'm going to add one more circle uh, in this uh, one. So for that again I'm going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to change the shape go to format edit shape change shape I'm just going to select the same oval shape I got this one and here I'm going to make the size as 2.15 inches. So you can see here I've got this and I'm going to change the color to black, full black and then go to effects and here under 3D format I'm just going to select the bevel which is the first one and the depth I'm going to reduce to 6 points and this is very important how you're going to give the lighting effect. So you can just select maybe any lighting color, material. You can see here some shadows has been created. You can just play around with this. We have to see which one is better. So let it be like this. We'll see if I can. If not looking good, I'm going to change again. So just exactly place in the center. And for the time being, I'll just go to view, remove the guides. So let it be in the center. If you see here this lighting effect is not good so let me just go to effects again and let me just select maybe a special and I'll select maybe the plastic one yeah you can see here there's some good effect uh, now so you can see here the most of our the front design or the knob design is ready now we have to add one more oval shape so let me just add one oval shape go to insert shapes and I'm just going to add one oval shape uh, which I will just say 5.6 and shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to set a gradient fill by default it is already selected here I've just used uh, three stops if you can see here I've just used some dark gray color and in the center I've just put the white here so you got this particular effect now for this also I'm just going to go to effects and let me just go to 3d rotation and I'm going to select the same which is this one isometric right up something like this and then send this to back now you can uh, leave it like this or you can do some more changes also so I'm just going to select this big oval shape and then go to effects under 3d format I'm just going to select this one which is angle you can see here something like this and then I'm just going to increase it you can see here it is uh, started reducing the something like this and height also if you want you can just increase it and the bottom also I'm just going to select the same and let it be 6 and height I'm just going to make it 0 here and the depth let me just increase to or 3 here and then 
once we have completed this then we have to start we have to do something on the the lighting here whichever the lighting you can you can see here you got this kind of shape and if still not ready i mean it's not good then again we need to come and change it as per the requirement so for me it is very dark here let me just change the lighting so i will just select maybe this one bright room so you can see here the changes here and this can be dark edge or you can just use a soft edge also the soft edge is very bright so let me just go with a dark edge so you can see here the design our design is almost ready and again if you want to increase the width of this again i can just increase this one here you can see here i can maybe put 53.5 and the height will be a 12. so you can see here our design is almost ready then we need to add some text and some pointer here now i'm going to add one pointer here for that go to insert shapes and select and a uh, rectangle just draw a triangle maybe this much shape shape outline make it no outline then go to insert shape add one more uh, oval shape so i'm just going to cut just draw the oval shape here i'm just going to cut the triangle from the bottom so shape outline make it no outline let me just give some different color and exactly like this shape i need so i'm just going to select this particular triangle and the oval shape go to format merge shape just say subtract so you can see here you got this particular shape reduce the size and again you can just go and give the same 3d rotation which is this one and put it here you can see here and you can just change the color to some maybe a light green color and you can give some more effects to it so let it be like this then i'm going to add one text go to insert i'll just say text box and i'll type priority here p r i o r i t y i'll just center a line i'm going to use the font century gothic you can use your own font make it bold increase the size and here you can see a shape options and text options so click on the text options and then go to the text effects and here under 3d rotation i'm going to use the same rotation which is isometric right up and the font size not the font size the font color i'm going to make it white and bring it and put it here so you got your priority you can use anything here priority promise or whatever so you can see here the priority is had been added here and then we need to add some more text which is the low average and high or low medium and high so i'm going to add the first text which is low go to again text box and just type in capitals low and again i'm going to use the same font make it bold center aligned and bring it here and i can just rotate it with this i'll just rotate it something like this so it is low here or if you want you can just go again to text here or you can just go to format also text effects and transform you can just select maybe this also which is the arch and just put it low here and i'm going to copy this control d bring it here and i'll just say medium this is the time consuming you to spend some good amount of time in adjusting this okay and then i'm just going to add the the last one which is high
so just adjust it again so you can see here we have added low medium and high and again if you want you can just insert some lines in between just add some lines like this shape outline maybe you can use some dark colors and put it here one control D and put it here one more and just change the so you can see here low medium and high and the my priority is always set on high so here you can see here the design is completed and if you want you can use some animations i'm not going to use any animation i'm just going to use a morph transition if you have 2018 or office 365 onwards you have got the morph transition available which is uh, when you go to transition you can see here morph so to do that one i can just simply select this particular slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide so i got this slide so i want to put the priority to low for that let me just go here to format and change the color to say a uh, kind of uh, red and i'm just changing the position something which is pointing towards low but the problem here is you need to go and again change the effects here you can you have to play with this one you can see here i have to just do so many things here to see yeah so if you can see here this is okay let me just reduce the size so it is now pointing towards sorry pointing towards the red as, as the low and i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate now this is going to move from red so let me just move the priority for a time being and again rotate this and put it on the medium and change the color to orange and again i have to just go and start putting in the right okay and let me just put this priority back now so this is my first and then this is my second so for that i'm not going to select the first slide i'm going to select the second slide go to transition and just say morph here so you can see here it is just moving if i play so my priority and when i click it goes to the medium likewise you can just duplicate and change this one to here for example this is my first slide which i made it i'm making it to the third slide and then this also i'm going to set a morph here you can see here it's changing to green so let me just play if i just click low if first it will be on low then my priority is medium then my priority is high That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.